Hello everybody and welcome back. Today is a special video comparison between Procreate, ArtRage, and Rebel 3. I'll be using the desktop version of ArtRage. This is ArtRage 6, but let's get right to it. First thing I'm going to do is paint in Procreate. Now you guys, I have an iPad Pro painting on the 12.9 inch screen with the Apple Pencil. Procreate is, uh, for me, a wonderful tool for digital sketching, but um, when today I tried to paint with it as I would like an oil painter, I was, to be honest, kind of let down. Um, uh, the oil brushes and the turpentine brushes and all of the kind of natural media brushes, first thing that I, I, I had to say is I didn't like doing my lay-in of the local color with those brushes because they seemed to grab onto the canvas color, like the white background. They would grab onto that color, literally, literally and mix it with whatever color I was using. Um, so that is number one, just no, no, no. That's a disappointing approach to making your your paint. So I, I mean, I assume you can, of course, make, make a, a new layer and paint on that new layer so it's not mixing with the background, but it shouldn't be mixing with the canvas color. Um, the other thing that I noticed is that while I absolutely love Procreate for a drawing tool, um, it, it just didn't feel like paint. Like at no point did I feel like, oh, this feels like the luscious kind of smoothness of painting with wet media. Uh, instead, it felt like a digital art tool, like incredibly digital. Um, thing about Procreate is that, again, like it's a incredible uh, uh, for using it like a pencil. It's full featured with text tools and animation tools and all kinds of uh, automatic video recording it's elegant it's fast it's responsive it has um, incredible accuracy with the line work so if you're like into comics or doing things like that I mean it's a it's awesome if you're an illustrator if you um, really want to do those like smooth digital looking portraits it's great for that but I found that in this painting I didn't really enjoy it um, in with the mentality of, of oil painting so I used a brush called the Nico roll brush and then once I did the lay-in, I, I used the oil, like the oil paint brush and the turpentine brush and the dry brush and the different kind of natural media mixing tools to kind of paint on top of that. And then when I, to finish, finish the drawing, I used some of my own homemade brushes that introduce a little more canvas texture and paint it in a way that's like, uh, I guess like my own brushes are better for me. You know, I like them more for painting the oil painting look than, than anything that was built in. But a fun experiment with a great tool that's you know exclusive to the iPad. Here we have Rebel 3 or Rebel, Rebel 3. I don't know quite how to say it, but it's um, a tool that I've used more for its watercolor than for anything else. But it does have an interface and a kind of uh, natural media setup that's similar to ArtRage, and I'm interested in that. So. Um, that's what I'm doing here. I, I have made a bunch of custom brushes, but I refrained from using them. I wanted to kind of just use it sort of out of the box. So if it was, you know, if it was you using this, kind of opening it up, testing it out, you would be getting this same experience. Um, I found that this was really good and it was uh, surprisingly, um, I don't know, it's, it felt surprisingly good, familiar, effective the paint goes on like paint um, you can adjust the water so like if you can see over in the bottom left hand side you have size and pressure and, and some settings there but the bottom slider you can scrub that across to add or remove the amount of wetness or water and if you have that turned all the way up the paint still stays opaque um, but it mixes a lot so in what I think is you know and, and they they say this in, in their software is this is not an oil painting simulation, it's an acrylic painting simulation and it really works that way. It's it's kind of like if you paint quickly with acrylic and you get that kind of um, that mixing that happens when the acrylic is still wet, it, it this is what it looks like. And I think they the company that makes the software did a fantastic job of making this feel like um, acrylics. And uh, I, I paint with acrylic Quite a bit. I paint with gouache. I paint with oil, um, and this felt like something like gouache and acrylic. And it didn't have that gooey kind of like lusciousness of oils, nor the sheen or the textural mark making, but at least to the degree that others that ArtRage does. But it was a very good piece of software. That's a good alternative for someone that's maybe looking for something different. Um, 
I found that with Procreate and with Rebel 3, there are, um, you can create your own brushes and they both work really well. Um, I found that the Rebel 3 brushes be, are, are just like, it was almost like the easiest brush creation system because it's just a grain and a stamp. And then you just have a couple sliders, which doesn't give you a huge, 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 huge amount of flexibility maybe, but I think it gives you the right amount to not get overwhelmed. And so I found a lot of success making brushes with that software. And, um, you know, at the end of the, the video with the Rebel software, I use some of my own brushes, which I like a lot more than the ones that are built in. Um, again, just like Procreate, I want more of that canvas granular texture and meaty chunky mark you know that kind of thing then maybe a lot of artists want but for me my style i want that grit and that texture and that kind of mess and i was able to get that very easily with my own custom brushes and um if you can you can look here and you can see the the brush strokes stand up on their own they feel like real brush strokes there's a little bit of actual three-dimensional texture to them it's a good piece of software. It works really well. Um, I think its strongest asset is its watercolors. They're amazing. But for like this acrylic wash kind of pseudo oils, it does a good job. It does a, a much better job than Procreate for sure. Um, so I think, you know, a lot of people are like, whoa, whoa, Procreate's the best, you know. It's, and I think it's um, a lot of illustrators and a lot of young artists who are just you know, more into, interested in a digital drawing tool, illustration tool. I totally get it for Procreate. It's amazing. It's fully featured. It's it's fast. It's responsive. It's amazing. But for me, I'm I'm more of a traditional artist gone digital. And for me, this is better. So I would say Rebel 3 is better than Procreate for like a natural media painting simulation. So um, here, here we are in ArtRage, you know, painting that exact same photo from Pexels.com. This is a free to use copyright free image. Just wanted something with some some shape, some natural lighting, um, something that could kind of get a little messy with the brushwork. And immediately I can tell that Art Rage is superior to everything when it comes to oil painting simulation. Um, now, now to be fair, um, Rebel 3 is not trying to create oil painting. They, they, they explicitly call their tool acrylic and it works like that. And so, you know, being fair to them, they're not trying to be an oil painting simulation, but to be a natural media paint simulator, um, I think Rebel 3 did a great job, but here Art Rage is superior. Um, and I think where Procreate, they have a bunch of tools listed as you know, oil painting brushes that have mixing and smudging and all kinds of things there. It's just not anywhere near as good. It just isn't. And it's, I like to say, I if, here's where I would use these tools. For me, I love carrying my iPad with Procreate to every meeting I have at work. I, I love taking it to, you know, um, the coffee shops and stuff like that back before COVID was a thing. Um, I love, I love just kind of the simplicity of it. It's, it's, dig, it's a digital sketch pad and it's the best at that. I mean, it's the so responsive, so fast and has so many great line quality adjustments with the various tools. I love using the shale brush, which is like a, it's like a pencil tool that just has a wonderful texture. And, and so that's, you know, that's what I think Procreate excels at. I think Rebel ex excels at, at like acrylics and watercolors. Um, but ArtRage is, is unrivaled at, at being an oil painting simulation. I mean, I'm not even touching the palette knife much here. Um, I'm not using like any of my own custom brushes. I'm just using some sliders on the default oil brushes and it mixes and it's fast and it's smooth and it's thick and it has impasto and it has individual brush textures and layers and the paint mixes in a realistic way with like serendipity and and, and the physics of all and um, the science of all the color mixing. It's so good. And I think that you know, for anyone, whether you're an illustrator or you're a fine artist or you're just a hobby, you know, just doing it for the fun, you're just hobby and hobby painting, hanging out. I think Art Rage is incredible. It's such a good tool and so unique. Um, now, the uniqueness of Rebel 3 is also really interesting to me. Um, and so I think those two are the more compelling tools. But I, I, had, I have to say that 
um, Art Rage wins this contest hands down. Um, another tool I wanted to bring up is Adobe Fresco, and I didn't even include it because I don't think it is anywhere close. It wasn't even worth putting it in the competition. Like I, I opened it up, I did some painting, and I was just like, this isn't even fun. It doesn't look half as good. It's just not on par. So don't even play with Adobe Fresco if you want like, just go get Art Rage. It's that much better. It's like not even a competition. So um, it'd just be wasting your time. So there, there are a lot of other tools out there, but these I felt like were the best of the bunch to compare against Art Rage and just looking at oil painting. We'll do some more compare and contrast in the weeks to come, but that's, that's what I got for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and best wishes. Take care.